In the moment tonight, I want to read a quote from Philip Sidney, and he says this, either I will find a way or I will make one. Now, I want you to meditate on that. Either I will find a way or I will make one. I think a lot of times in life, and it was very interesting, um, this past week I got a chance to sit down with Sharon Eubank, the famous attorney, New York bestseller, and I got an interview actually for a, a panel discussion. New York, she's a New York bestseller, the big lead attorney in the tobacco versus the United States that basically deemed tobacco companies as racketeers. And she said something very interesting. I mean, she talked about her, her life, and it really inspired me. It really did. Because she said, you know, every time, like, I just took the first offer I could get. And, you know, the first offer I could get put me all the way here. But she said that in the idea that I never gave up. Even though I didn't get the offer that I wanted, I took the offer I could get, and I made it work for me. And I learned, and I kept it moving, and I kept advancing, and I kept pushing. And it was just a powerful thing to, to me to say that, and it's just so connected to this quote from Philip Sidney, right? The ideal that no matter what happens, either I'm going to find a way or I'm going to make one. You have to, and she said this other thing which was blew my mind. Whatever it is you want in life, make that your burden. Carry it around like a backpack on your back. This is what I want. Whether it be I want to be a doctor, or I want to be the president of the United States, or I want to be, you know, the next Oscar winning actress. Carry that on your back. Live in your destiny. And you'll achieve it. Because you see it every day. And as you see it, you either, one, will find a way to get there. Or two, manifest destiny. Hell, you're going to make your own way. But either way, it's just so important that you think about what it is you want to do. And you live in that. You soak it in. It's like a biscuit and gravy. You get it in there and you soak it all up. Because that, America... That's how you'll achieve your destiny and achieve your dreams. So I say to you all today, that no matter, what it is, no matter what it is that you want to be, live in it. And yeah, you're going to make some mistakes. And yeah, you might fail. But don't think, failure doesn't mean finality. Failure does not mean finality. Right? Failure means you fell down. But every time, every, listen, when you fall down, your job is to get back up again. And we all know that to be the truth. Failure means that you can finish. Because if you haven't failed, you'll never finish. That's what it means. So what I'm saying to all of you today is that no matter what it is, no matter what you want to achieve in your life, the moment is right now for you to achieve it. Put that thing on your back and wear it with pride. Because when you wear it with pride and you push for it, you might not get there today. You might not get there tomorrow. You might not find a way, but hell, you'll make it. You'll make the way to your destiny. You'll make the way to your dreams. I'm telling you, I believe it for you tonight. Now it's your job to believe it for yourself. Live in courage and live in the ideal and the belief that the power of your dreams will overcome any other power that's in your way. I'm telling you it's possible. I'm telling you it's real. But you've got to commit to it. You've got to commit to it. And that's what I'm asking you to do this week. Find that, take whatever that dream is in your life, whatever that ambition is, wear that on your back and commit to it. And I am guarantee you, the minute you begin to commit is the minute that the doors will open and the universe will respond to your commitment with its commitment to get you your dream.